cruise missile Chukar, fired by UCAV Bayraktar Akinja, successfully hit its target in a global first for a UCAV firing a cruise missile. Security and National Security Fair and Conference ISAF exclusive was held for its sixth year from 10 to 12 May 2023 in Ankara. Turkey's short-range ballistic missile Typhoon successfully completed its second firing test. Asal San shared the first images from its tests of the Akkor protection system. The 737 MAX full-flight simulator Havel San manufactured for Turkish Airlines received a Level D certification from the European Aviation Safety Agency, the highest qualification level possible. The mortar ammunition-bearing rotary-winged UAV Boyga developed by STM hit its target on the mark in testing rounds. The first firing tests were successfully conducted from an F-16 and a Bayraktar Akinji UCAV of the new generation guidance kit Gözde developed in cooperation between Asalsan and Tubitak Sage. Otokar signed a $41 million export agreement on 4x4 tactical wheeled armored vehicles and related spare parts, maintenance and training services. Turkey's long-range air defense system Sipar successfully hit its target in its final test shot before descending to the field. Asal San's close air defense system Gökdeniz was integrated onto Seacraft TCG Istanbul. STM General Manager Özgür Gülaryu stated that they had exported the rotary winged attack UAV Kargu to 10 countries. Bilal Aktash, who had retired from the Defense Industry Agency Quality Testing and Certification Department, has become the General Manager of Repcon Foreign Trade. Turkey shared images for the first time of Cenk, its most developed ballistic missile. Asalsan and BMC signed an agreement on tank systems worth approximately 200 million euros and 1.5 billion Turkish lira. TEI and Botash signed the protocols, agreement on maintenance care for gas turbine motors at Botash, and the development and procurement of new gas turbines. Within the framework of an agreement with the Defense Industry Agency, Asalsan is set to modernize the Coast Guard Command's helicopters. Machine and Chemical Industry General Manager Ilham Kelesh stated that they had exported the light-toed howitzer Boron to two countries and were continuing talks with five other countries. The Turkish Defense Industry Century Symposium organized by SETA took place in Ankara with the participation of Defense Industry President Ismail Demir. The gunpowder, shell and capsule production facilities whose construction is ongoing in the Çorum Sungulu organized industrial zone began production. An agreement was signed with Verisys for software updates to the Ballistica National and Domestic Ballistics Analysis System developed by Tubitak Space. The Military Factories Directorate General signed a protocol with Aspilsan Energy on the supply of military batteries.